Hello there everyone, welcome back to Divan Share and in this video we are going to learn how to take a user input in Golang. So this is a Golang playlist where I am uh, like teaching you the basics uh, of Golang and also we'll be building some cool projects. So before that let me tell you uh, what we are going to cover in this video. So in this video we are going to learn how to take a user input uh, and also we'll be like uh, uh, writing a short program basic program where we'll be taking two numbers from the user and Finding out the sum of those two numbers. So it will be a very like basic program, but very important one for building your content So as in every Golang project the first line is like importing the package so I'll import the main package and then I'll um, import the format fmt and actually fmt package uh, provides us two main uh, functions first one is the printer in which is used to like display the uh, output on the screen output screen and the second one which Im important method fmt provides is like scan ln which method is which a scan ln method is used to take input from the user so yeah that's why it's a very important package it had many it has many like uh functions but the two more main ones as mentioned i mentioned are print ln and the scan ln, uh, uh, scan ln okay so yeah uh le let's um enter our main right our main method as you know the execution of your program basically starts from your main method okay func main and uh, yeah so over here uh like i'll say name uh okay uh what i'm doing is like uh i'm taking a variable let's say uh name okay uh well uh i'll say or where you can say where uh name and this is of type like string okay so i have declared the variable name name which is of type string so and now i'm going to print a message to the user i'm simply using fmt dot print ln print ln okay just again uh, dot print ln dot print ln and uh, here i need to like uh, i'll say enter your name okay to the user and uh, now i'm going to read that input uh, using scan ln okay s will be capital ln okay so yeah and uh, it its code is very much similar go lang as you know its uh, code is very much similar to c programming language so here uh, will be like uh, using ampersand and uh, name okay ampersand name basically means the address of this variable this will store the value which the user will enter at the address of where the name is pointing to okay so now after taking that what i'm going to do is i'm going to print on the output screen hello and the name that user has entered a simple program okay so i hope you have understood what i'm trying to do is i'm simply like uh, declaring a variable name of which type is string and uh, i am using a println method of fmt package to uh, display message on the output screen that uh, hey user enter your name and then i'm using scan ln method of the fmt package to uh, read the uh, input that user is entering and i'm simply storing that in the name variable that i declared and then uh, i am also then again i am printing hello uh, that the name of that debit that he entered okay so let's run this and see what we are getting over so I'll say go run yt dot go. Okay, so it is executing. So it is asking enter your name. I'll say the branch. 
so yeah so as you can see i am getting hello devansh okay so yeah i hope you have understood what uh how to take uh, input from user okay similarly we can do for the like if we want to store a number we can simply declare like where age uh, of int uh, type and uh, here like we can say to the user format dot print ln uh, that hey user enter your enter your age and uh, then we can like uh, use format dot uh, scan ln and use ampersand age to store the age of the user like here then i can say uh, in the next line basically i can say format dot print ln dot print ln uh, age comma age okay so yeah cool so let's run and see how it's working so it's asking your name in this time i'll say like geeky dps and enter your age hello geeky dps a0 okay 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 hold on what's wrong what what has gone wrong is like um uh okay enter your age uh, let me check uh, i have missed something uh okay let me rerun the run our app to see what has gone wrong go to terminal again and new terminal and i'll say go run yt.go so i'll enter the name the ranch and yeah it's working correct it's up my age i say 18 so it's saying hello okay i have entered the wrong spelling no problem hello the branch and age is 18 okay so it's working fine so as i mentioned now we are going to take two numbers from the user and we'll simply print their sum okay so how we can do it it's very much simple it's very simple like i'll say variable a which is of type int and then i'll say variable b which is also of type int and then uh, i can display to the user that format dot through format dot print ln uh, enter value for a and okay or i can say like uh, uh, enter number one also you can say number number one and uh, then you can store that using scan ln ampersand a okay and then after that you can say format dot print ln okay uh, enter num2 and then you can store that using scan ln okay ampersand b so we have uh, read the, both the numbers from the user now what we need to do is simply print a plus b so you can also do, uh, like store it in a variable result colon uh, equals to a plus b it is a shorthand or uh, okay okay just it is a shorthand operator okay a shorthand way of like uh, declaring a variable i hope you are familiar with this if you're not like you can check my another video in this playlist where i had taught about how to take uh, or how to define variables and store value in them okay great and now i have to print this simply i can print this like this the sum is okay the sum is comma or like to make it more cool like the sum of comma a comma and comma b comma is comma result so basically this is going to print uh, that the sum of a value of a which is uh, user will enter and b is and then the sum of that so let's run this and see what we get go run yt.go 
okay so enter num 1 i will say 5 and enter num 2 i will say 6 so i am getting the sum of 5 and 6 is 11 so yeah you can print in this way also okay so i hope you like this video and uh, you learned from this video how to take uh, user input and also how to display it so pretty much that only in this uh, video and don't forget to check our go playlist where i have covered some awesome uh, where i have created awesome videos and stuff so till then keep coding and let's meet in the next video